uh, osteoarthritis can be treated with energy system or without medicine. Good. <laughs> Actually, every pain killer, if you are using for osteoarthritis, you know the pain killer kills. Because now we know every pain killer is a stimulant for a heart attack in the next five years. So, use as less pain killers as possible. I use New York University Hospital, they use osteoarthritis, a simple treatment which our pundits used to use in the old days. They take castor oil, you know castor oil? They dip a thick cloth in castor oil, squeeze it and tie it around the joint which is painful and give steam there. Not hot water bottle because it's not 100 degrees, steam there. And I tell you, 90% of the pain goes away. Very effective. And of course, we have, we have a device, uh, electromagnetic device, which can be kept there and it will open up the blood vessels and the pain will go gradually, but it will take time. But this one will immediately kill the flow Because there is an enzyme inside called heat shock protein 70, HSP 70. And this heat will stimulate that and then the vessels open and the new blood vessels come and the patient feels better. We would love to know about that device which you have in mind. Don't worry about that device. Now I am what? Uh, that device of course is an electromagnetic energy producing device which can be used for heart attack, stroke, everything. But what I am now trying to do is devise a jacket and a belt for normal human beings who are in the IT industry. Because they are getting only 40 to 70 hertz energy and killing themselves. So I will give them 0 to 30 like the earth gives you because they don't walk barefoot. They don't swim. So I have to give them a belt, they like it. So I am trying to getting it, uh, it's almost ready. So we are, you know, we are doing that. In North India you can use a jacket because in South India it's very warm to use the jacket. So we give them a belt. As M farm students, what can we do for betterment? M farm students can, you know, I have, I have written an article. is for the health of the pharmaceutical industry because reductionist chemicals that you are studying now, they are all dextro-rotatory and body molecules are levorotatory. So it is a square plug in a round hole. Now, all herbal medicines, which I will give you a reference if you want, read this, write down. Mitochondria as chi, chi, chi is energy. Mitochondria as chi, okay. Author's name is Douglas C. Wallace, Douglas C. Wallace. W A L L A C E and the journal is Genetics. Genetics. Year is 2008. Volume is 179 and page is 727. Read this article. What it tells you is what it tells you is he has a chip called MIT chip which studies at the mitochondrial level which you can't imagine. You give a reductionist drug. If the minute it goes to the stomach and the body knows it, it says, oh, this is poison, I don't know what it is, so throw it into the liver. So it damages the liver and the liver tries to damage the drug. And what comes out, you studied in your textbook called first pass effect. Right? Do you know first pass effect? No? Oh, but pharmacy, you are doing pharmacy and don't know first pass effect? You know first pass effect. Okay, don't worry. Now, he gave herbal drugs, Tibetan, Chinese and Indian. And when it goes inside, it's levorotatory. That means it's like food. So the body said, oh, it's my food, I will use it. So it doesn't go to the liver, it does any, anything good if it does. Now I told the pharmacy people, don't do this golden triangle reverse thing. You take a herb and say, it, uh, I will know, it, I will try to study it in the best way. No. You take a herb, study that directly on human beings because the toxicology is already studied. And you study the, the original pharmacology of which is called uh, Dhruvya Shastra in Ayurveda. And then you do your human studies or animal studies on that. And then you know you can toxicity if you want to study, you can do animal studies. <coughs> For example, we did a study on nano silver. You know, if you, you, you can get silver in a nano form because our old grannies used to say drink water in a silver cup. In temples they keep the tirtha in silver bowl. Because no germ survives in silver. And we did nano silver. We have a technique of doing nano silver. Because water is a structure which is found out recently. It's a lot of loose bonds. So in the bond we put a silver. And this is so effective on so many tricks. Malaria, for example. 
you know, I wanted to study for malaria in the Malaria Research Institute in uh, Delhi. The director said, no, this is all bullshit, this is all, you know, rubbish. So I told him, sir, please do it and let us see. He said, he refused. Then after some time, he wanted some help from me because his daughter was not getting a medical seat. He wanted, she wanted to be a doctor. He came to me. He said, will you some help me to get a medical seat? I said, I help, provided you study this. He studied that and then he got so excited then he came running to me, sir, this is so good, it was used in human beings immediately. So I apply for a license, I don't get it. You know how to get license in India. I can't get it. Then we did a study in Africa. 100 patients of Alzheimer's malaria, in two days time the malaria disappeared and the patient became all. We published that in an indexed peer-reviewed journal. But what to do, you can't because it is money that matters now. It's money. Money that matters.